decided to do semester service is that I'm from Dayton. I grew up in Dayton. I've lived here my whole life. And I really just want to give back to the community where I came from. For my semester, I worked at the Miami Valley Literacy Council. And that essentially <laughs> deals with adults mainly and also deals with children. But I taught a basic math class and a basic reading class to adults, basic students, which means that they are native speakers. I think the best part was really the students. There was never a dull moment. Um, the entire three months that I did it, I never was bored. I never was wondering why am I doing this. I absolutely loved it. And the students were really, honestly, the best part of the entire experience. I was really worried about the living situation, honestly. And I think it did play out really well. And I was also worried about um, working in an environment where I was the youngest person. But that definitely didn't bother me by the end of it. A lot of the times the students would come in and they would like tell me stories. Um, a student taught me how to Dougie in my math class once. So it was, it was there's, like I said before, there's never a dull moment. There's always something going on. Somebody telling me something, somebody showing me something. Um, at one point in my math class they decided to have a party and they went crazy <laughs> and brought in like all this food and it was out of control. I'd always heard about it um, through Dakota Center because I'm actually a tutor there and that's one of the sites. So I'd always seen the students there and I really loved what they did. So when I did the open houses um, last spring, I just on a whim went to daybreak and I loved the place. Like I've never worked with like the teenage population and just the fact that the facility was so nice and what they do for like, you don't realize how many people are like homeless or find themselves in need of like emergency shelter from like their home situation. Um, at daybreak, I'm going to work specifically helping the clients there, like the residents, whoever needs help finding a job is going to be my main one. So like I have a car, so it'll be my duty to help them like build a resume, work on their interviewing skills, and even like take them out to the job sites if they need someone to take them, you know, be there with them. And then um, just some other small things, like if they need me to help, like they have moms there too, like one of their floors is specifically for housing for like single moms. Um, so if they have a class, then I'd be the one called upon to go watch the babies, which would be totally awesome. Um, so any other things they need, but mostly just helping with the jobs or walking down to the shelter just to see if they need help down there, someone just needs someone to talk to. Um, all the semester service students, we meet once a week on Wednesdays from 9 to 12 for a class to try to like share experiences, have a speaker, and um, what I said is just to have confidence boosters from other people that are going through like you know, there's similar experiences, but it's so unique at all the agencies. Mm -hmm. The other ones are Dakota Center, Dayton Christian Center, um, Booth House, Adventure Central, and East End Community Services are the other five for the fall. Um, I guess I was kind of worried, but also excited about the same thing, just not knowing what I'm doing at all. Like, just walking into a situation, and I've never worked with this type of population before, and being worried that, like, what do I do? Like, am I going to be like able to help them in the way that I want to? And the same thing. It's just to be excited and be open to the new experience. Like, that I will be confident that I can help them, and that these people like. But just by the fact that they're there, they're showing that they want help. Like, they want to be helped by people. I know when I left, they were all really sad. Um, and it was really interesting to me because I was also kind of worried about that because I was teaching people essentially that were sometimes double or even triple my age. So I was really worried about whether or not they would be able to respect me in the light that I would want them to be respected, but they did. So it showed me how patient I can actually be. I never really thought of myself as a patient person. I'm always kind of on the go, always really jittery and just anxious all the time. But I think this experience really allowed me to be um, very patient because I had to be, because I was essentially teaching people how to read. So it's not necessarily like I can't just go, okay, you have to read, you have to read, you have to read. You ha it takes time, it takes patience, it takes effort. So.